What's up? Travis John here from Nitro Circus, SRT USA, and you're watching WRX Snowboard. What's up, everyone? How's it going today? I wanted to show you a mod that you can do yourself for about five or six bucks, even less than that. What I'm going to be doing today is getting rid of this silver trim around my AC vents. I'm just going to do that with a simple can of spray paint or possibly a wrap. I'll have to see once I get everything out here. But basically I'm going to show you how you take these different vents out. I already started with this one. I just took a plastic pry tool. If you don't already have these I'd invest in some of them. Uh, these were just bought off of Amazon. I slowly pried right here then up top right here and then right here and as you can see this vent just comes straight out nothing attached to it and you can see one two and then up top here there's just a little bit of a lip so once you get that removed everything else just pops right out now I'm going to start working on the back here and let you know how it all works and functions to be able to get this plastic trim off on the top you can see there's two clips, one there, one there, as well as two on the outside. Just use a flat head and pry at it. It doesn't matter if you leave a mark since you're not going to see that part. As well as on the bottom there's two pieces at the bottom right there where you can see those little marks. Once you have those released you just want to, uh, actually just a tip is just to pull with a little bit of tension as you're doing this and you can kind of wiggle it out. Once you get this piece off, you're going to see two tabs there at the bottom. Then up here it just looks as if you just kind of pull this out. So I'm going to start with these two tabs here at the bottom and work this piece off. Here there's three on the top and one on the side. Once you get those three done, you're able to remove this plastic trim. Now again with this pry tool here, I just started right here, up here, got a little on the top and then just start on the bottom and it popped out that other side. So once you have this removed you're gonna fold it down or actually you can lift it up and there's two connections right here. So you'll see right here and right there there's two tabs as well as just one in the middle. You just slowly wiggle those you can either you can start on either side but once you get one side kind of out um, out by pushing the vent inward you can start working on the other side with this side it's basically just one here and then one on that side once you have that done this vent comes right off so I have three of the four done right now I assume that the driver side one is the same as this one I'm gonna work on that now I'll let you know how I take it off but this has been very easy. I would just say be very patient in taking these off because they're very flimsy pieces. And so you don't want to apply too much pressure and risk breaking them. And the best tool i found is actually going to be the biggest tool. And it's this. With this little lip on here. Basically you just stick it on the bottom and start prying. Just slowly build up pressure. And this pops right off. It's exactly the same as this one here. So I'm going to be doing this uh, outside of camera. I'll show you everything all set up before I paint it, and we'll go from there. I now have all four pieces taken off. You can say this is kind of like a double, but I'm going to be painting them now and putting it back together. I'll let you know this took me 45 minutes to get everything taken off here. So it should go back together really easily. What I do like about this is besides the two little clips here, this was no nuts, no screws, no bolts, no wrenches, just a very simple, straightforward install type of mod. So I have everything painted now. It looks really good. Definitely a big change. Uh, this whole project took about two and a half hours but mainly that was just waiting on paint so it wasn't as if I was actually involved doing something I was just waiting for the coat to dry what I did was three layers of black um, it's a rust-oleum paint and primer gloss 
Then I did two layers of a clear gloss on top of it. This was just a very clean, simple install. I wanted to thank a guy named Patrick. He, his YouTube was the one that I was able to get this idea from. So, just to let y'all all know, this idea was not mine. I watched a video showing how to take this off and then figured the sides out for myself. that wraps it up for the install here hope you guys enjoyed watching this video definitely like the look a whole lot better than that silver I think I'm gonna leave these because I have a couple different little chrome accents so these kind of tie that in even though chrome isn't my favorite and as always happy driving and enjoy <laughs>